guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have a very exciting video for you today. It is going to be a collaboration with two of my YouTube friends here on YouTube, also on Instagram, so make sure you follow them on both of them. So the first one is going to be Heather from Love Heatherette. I have done several collabs with her before and I seriously love every single collab we've ever done. We are color pop aholics. We love ColourPop, so we decided that we would do this collab along with another ColourPop aholic, and that is going to be Amanda from Fashion Footing. So make sure you follow both of them down below. They are great, fantastic, honest, honest reviews. Amanda and I have pretty similar taste in makeup, and I feel like Heather has a kind of a different taste in makeup than we do, but we've been part of this texting group ever since we decided to do this collab, and it's just been so much fun texting them because Amanda will send us screenshots or we'll ask advice. It's just, it's really awesome, and definitely check them out. They are great girls to follow. And so for the first video that we're going to do, it's going to be our top 10, no cheating, just 10, ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. So some of these you guys may have seen before because obviously I love ColourPop so much that I talk about them all the time, but I seriously love these shadows so, so much. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the first shadow in no particular order, um, I love them all the same, but this is Game Face from ColourPop. This came out a couple falls ago. It is so, so great. It is this bronze gold, orange color it is so good and this is the creamiest super shock shadow i've ever tried it is a ultra metallic finish and it's fantastic and it is the perfect all over lid shade for fall the next shadow we're going to talk about is so quiche and this is such a unique color i've never seen any other shadow like it it is definitely a olive green gray with purple and like red glitter it is so pretty and this is a ultra glitter finish and this one is actually really creamy I've never had any glitter fall out from it so it's definitely one of my favorites because it is so unique all right our next shadow to talk about is going to be coconut this came out I want to say last summer and this is a color I don't wear often but when I do wear it it just gives me that pop of blue that I'm looking for. This is the perfect ocean blue shadow for the summer. I love to wear this on the bottom of my eyes. I've also worn this as eyeliner before and it works wonders. It's fantastic. I highly recommend if you want to get a pop of color, definitely pick up coconut over the summer. Okay guys, now this is probably one of the best eyeshadows I own in my entire collection. I mean like out of every single eyeshadow palette, every single shadow, every color tattoo I have, La La is probably one of the best. La La is the perfect rose gold all over lid color. It is currently what I'm wearing right now. I get so many compliments when I wear this color because it is rose gold and is, as you guys know, rose gold is huge right now. It's a very, very popular color and La La is actually ColourPop's one of their best sellers and it is a ultra metallic and it's creamy and wonderful and I just, I just absolutely love it. So definitely pick up La La the next time you check out a ColourPop. All right, so this next shade we're gonna talk about is actually a matte and um, ColourPop does have several matte super shock shadows. I actually just don't own a lot of them just because I'm so drawn to the ultra metallics and the ultra glitters, but their matte collection is actually really good and this one is called Hanky Panky. First of all, I love the name. Hanky Panky is a great name, but this is just the perfect warm beige color that I love to wear in my crease. I am wearing it in my crease right now and as you guys can tell from the swatch, it is very light so it just gives you that nice natural shadow, but Hanky Panky is really nice and to to be honest, I was first expecting the mattes to be kind of dry, but it actually, they're, they're pretty creamy. Like they're really nice. I feel so bad for anybody that hates the word creamy because I don't know how else to describe ColourPop shadows. Maybe I could say they're bouncy or fluffy, I guess. I don't know, but there's no other word to describe ColourPop shadows than using creamy or fluffy or <laughs> very soft and putty-like. I really do enjoy it. And the matte shadows do not let you down. They're just as good as the ultra metallics and the ultra glitters. Okay, 
Here is a super bright shadow. This is actually taking it back to like old school ColourPop days because I think this is one of the very first ColourPop shadows I ever owned. And that means I've had this shadow for like three years and it is still one of my favorites. This is a neon coral with gold glitter. Unfortunately, the glitter is so fine that you really can't pick it up on camera, but when you wear it, you can definitely see the shine. It's great. I love wearing this shade, which I haven't told you what it is yet. It is Animal. Animal is a fantastic shade. It is an ultra glitter. It is neon. It is coral. It is fantastic. And like I said, I've had it for three years and it feels just as good as the others. All right, here's a color that kind of looks like Lala, but this is sequin. This is a deeper rose gold than Lala, so it has more red undertones, where Lala has more pink undertones. And so, like I said, this is rose gold, so it does have glitter in it, and it is a ultra glitter. It's fantastic, it's nice, but it is a bit redder, so be careful when you do blend it out. It, it does have a chance um, of getting that kind of red and flamed look if you blend it too much so just make sure when you do apply this that you don't blend it too hard because like I said you'll get the red and flamed look but this color is so pretty it is also one of ColourPop's number one bestsellers so definitely pick it up is another matte shadow that I absolutely love and this is Mittens. It is a matte brown. Like I said for Hanky Panky, it is a really, really highly, insanely pigmented matte shadow. It's so nice as you guys can see in the swatch. It's great. This reminds me of a dark chocolate. I love to wear Mittens right in the corner of my eye and then I really blend it out into my crease and it just makes the perfect crease shadow for a deep smoky eye. Absolutely love Mittens. All right, on to my final favorite matte shadow. This is going to be Bandit. Bandit and Mittens are two totally different shades. I'm actually gonna hold them up side by side for you so you can see the difference. So this is Mittens, this is Bandit. As you can see, Bandit is more of a rusty red, has more red undertones, whereas Mittens is just a very deep chocolate. Um, I love to wear these two together, actually. I will put both of them in my crease, and it just makes this unique brown. Absolutely love it so much. Um, the one I wear the most is probably going to be Bandit because I can lighten up a look more with this, and whereas for um, mittens, I have to wear a deeper look. But I love them both, and they're great, great matte shadows from ColourPop. All right, we're, once again, we're taking it back. This is Get Lucky. This is a beautiful, beautiful gold eyeshadow from ColourPop. This is an ultra metallic. It is a fantastic shadow. shadow. It is a fantastic shadow. It is a true definition of gold. This is probably what the Greek goddesses wore on their eyelids. Um, this is Get Lucky. It is so, so good. And this right here shows you how insanely pigmented ColourPop shadows are. I absolutely love them. I don't wear Get Lucky that often, but when I do, I am so shocked as to the pigmentation and the blendability and how it's a cream product that turns powder and there's no fallout. It is so good. Get Lucky is one of the original shadows, I think, from ColourPop. It's one of the original ones that I bought and it has not dried out at all in the last three years. It is so good. So yes, guys, I am telling you, if you want to purchase just one type of super shocked pressed powder from ColourPop, um, I would definitely suggest getting an Ultra Metallic. Ultra Metallics to me have been the creamiest, the highly insanely pigmented, no fallout, last all day, and they do not crease on your eyelids. They are so, so good. So definitely let me know down below what your favorite Super Shock shadows are because I do need to purchase some new ones because it's been a long time since I've purchased Super Shock shadows. That is the OG of ColourPop. That is how they started. And I have been purchasing the pressed powders, so that's kind of where my attention's been. So let me know what your favorite pressed powders are. Please let me know what your favorite Super Shock shadows are, and I will definitely try them out. I'm super excited to see what Heather and Amanda like, so definitely go check them out. Like I said, I feel like Amanda and I have similar taste 
Whereas Heather loves the blues and she loves the greens and she loves the neutrals. So definitely go check them out. They are currently texting me right now, so that's really funny. Um, anyways, thank you Heather and Amanda for collabing with me and I'm so excited to have future collabs with you. And as always guys, have a beauty filled day. Bye guys.